Hey guys, KB here with Toy Gander and Toy Gander Bricks, and today we're checking out the Lego Ninjago movie set, The Flaming Ninja Mech. Obviously Kai is driving the mech, he seems to be in incredibly angry about something that happened. Perhaps maybe he missed his lunch break, and uh, maybe he missed his spinjitsu training and he fell down into a toilet. I don't know. Uh, here we go, just a quick shot of the mech. As you can see, the mech is full of various tubes of many sizes. There's a lot going on with this mech. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of tiny pieces to lose. As you can see, the backs of the legs seem like they're ready for action. These things are about to launch off. A lot of gears turning on these. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of uh, mobile parts for this mech, which I think is really cool. Check out this view of the front. This is actually uh, in flamethrower mode. As you can see, we've got multiple flames spewing from the front of the cannons on the flame mech. Uh, it looks incredibly uh, powerful. I would not tangle with this mech at all. This is not one of my top Gundams. I will tell you that right now. And here he is, Kai, in the suit. He is fully decked out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a, a Kai fan, but I'm just going to be honest. He looks really angry here, and I, I feel threatened just by his mere presence inside the mech. It uh, is very intimidating. Uh, I think probably to lighten up the mood, they added a couple other characters. This one's name is Henry, and uh, it, it would appear that he is eating a glowing nuclear lollipop. And as you can see by his expression, he probably has just tasted it. Uh, he's, he's full of fear. Uh, he probably realizes that if he ate any more of this ice cream treat, he will die. He has a nice sweater, nice khakis. Love the belt. Top tier. Next up, we've got the vicious and horrible villain, Jelly. And let me just tell you, he looks completely ridiculous. He's got that jellyfish skull cap. Uh, he's got the standard pistol. As you can see, the jellyfish tentacles are trailing down the front of his shirt. Uh, I think that's pretty disgusting. He does have two mysterious black gloved hands. He is a true villain, I can tell you that right now. And here he is, the hammerhead. And let me just tell you, he looks better without the hammerhead on there. He's got a really nice beard, really thick, full beard, sideburns. Uh, as you can see, he has a completely shaved head, but that's fine. It fits on with the mask very well. The costume is really good. Perfect. I'd say this is a 10 out of 10 hammerhead. Uh, as you can see, here he is with the helmet on it. You know, it really does look great with the teeth showing over the eyes. How does he see through it? I'm not sure. He does have two sets of teeth. Isn't that funny? Because, you know, how, what they say about sharks, they got two sets of teeth. As you can see, he's got a small set behind the big set. That's a pretty good hammerhead. If you're asking me in my personal book, I'm going to write that down. And uh, here she is, Lauren, and I think she's just an ice cream vendor at the Ninjago uh, City. And let me just tell you, this is kind of a lame minifigure. They do have a nice hairstyle on that one. She looks like she's uh, a little bit confused. She's wearing a tiny skirt, and the outfit looks like it's straight out of the 70s. I think I saw this in a flea market. Uh, somebody's trying to get rid of it. And here he is, Zane, and as you can see, he is looking zany. Look at his weird teeth. They're very strange. Here's the back, a little bit of the back shot. I'm going to show the front again. Uh, as you can see, he's got the quiver of arrows. He does have his bow as standard. Um, you know, I really wish I had a picture without the bow there, but you can see the logo uh, in the back. He's got the icon on the back, black gloves, and he's got the, uh, the hair piece on there. Let me show you the front. Here is the front. And uh, I think it looks really cool. I mean, it's, it is a standard Zane. Uh, not too much going on here. But overall, I'd say this is a good Zane. Um, I am confused. How does this hat, how does this hat situation work? What is the logo on the hat? And let's end this one up with a fantastic figure of Kai. And here's the thing. When I see this Kai here, he's not looking like the same Kai that was in the mech. This Kai looks like he's in a good mood. Uh, I mean, honestly, he, he's kind of got this goofy grin on his face. He's got that eyebrow arched up in the air. He's uh, kind of closing that one eye a little bit. It looks like there's a bandage on the top of the head. He looks like a friendly guy. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Oh, and here he is with the mask on. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe he does look like a friendly guy in the mech, but maybe it was just the mech itself that terrified me. Uh, I'm not 100% on that one. Uh, anyway, let's just take a quick look. Overall, it's a basic Kai. I believe this is duplicated in multiple sets. I think it's still a cool Kai. He's a cool Kai guy. All right, guys, please like and subscribe, and thank you very much.